Thank you, Matt. Well, true freshman John Urzua now has three weeks of practice under his belt, getting consistent reps. And Coach Stockstill told me he's making better throws and better decisions. He also told me they've made some changes uh, offensively to help alleviate some of the pressure off of their young quarterback, specifically utilizing. Compared to last week, the offense came out stronger and seemed more comfortable overall. What can you attribute to their performance tonight? What's it going to take to maintain momentum this late in the season? And Coach, in your own words, what does this win prove to the nation tonight? And your first game as head coach. Talk about refocusing and re-energizing your guys for the season ahead. Well, we told the guys right now we wiped everything out of what we've done the last four weeks. We're 0-0 right now. Let's get a win tonight. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you, Matt. Well, coming off the last two weeks, these Charlotte 49ers feel like they can walk out on any conference field and win games. When I spoke with senior linebacker Nick Cook, he said the biggest challenge for them when making that jump from FCS to FBS last year was just proving they belong. But following that, you never stopped believing in this team. In front of this crowd, what is this moment like for you? And you had mentioned this week that your team had found their identity, especially coming off last week. How have they continued to impress you after tonight's win? So Colin Jones, safety for the Carolina Panthers, just came off an incredible visit to the Super Bowl. I mean, of course, it didn't exactly turn out how you wanted, no. but I have to ask, which is better, finding out you're going to the Super Bowl or winning the Rose Bowl? I just talked with Coach Cooper and he said they made the decision to pull him Tuesday morning after an x-ray showed that Alex was going to need surgery and they didn't waste any time on that. Alex underwent that surgery on Wednesday and he is still questionable for the rest of the season. Those last 40 seconds, Southern Miss driving, what is going on through your head? And like you said, this was not easy. So talk about the resiliency of your guys, especially coming out of the half when Southern Miss had such momentum going. A lot of people were speculating going into this game that TCU was going to struggle to bounce back from last week's loss against Baylor. What's one thing you'd want to say to them now? All right, Josh, career day for you today with two touchdowns, 225 receiving yards. Without asking the obvious question, how does this career performance feel for you right now? I mean, I'm just glad we got the W, man. That's As you know, you'll be facing one of these teams tomorrow. What are your thoughts on this game so far? <laughs> They all shoot the three. And coach, how do you prepare your team for the tournament process and potentially playing three straight days of basketball? Well, eight is not enough was the motivating factor for the Bears. Unfortunately for tonight against Oregon State, that hill was just too steep to climb. With former OSU great Tiffany Bias coming off a WNBA championship with the Phoenix Mercury and this weekend's analyst for Big12Sports.com, Tiffany, what can you say about what sounds like to me an incredible journey so far? I mean, I'm just ex extremely blessed. And while we never want to speak too soon, but your cowgirls are projected to be kind of that surprise team this weekend to really give Baylor a run for their money. What can you say about your cowgirls? I don't want to be biased, but I am. Thank you, Matt. Well, tonight is an unbelievable opportunity for senior quarterback Alec Morris. As anyone can imagine, it would not be easy switching schools for your senior season and still not getting that starting quarterback position. Coach Latrell admitting it has been a challenging situation, but Alec has handled it with class, even becoming a team captain. When I spoke to Alec, he said he didn't come here to fulfill personal goals. For him, it has been all about the team. Team. Aaron, a lot of emotions right now. Tell me what's going on through your mind. That 75-yard run, how gratifying was that for you coming back here to the Sun Bowl? And Aaron, what does this win mean to your program and to this university? Congratulations. I know you're going to have a great season ahead of you. He saw tremendous maturity and team effort following that big performance against Southern Miss. You know, for Coach Wilson, it's been all about sustaining, having poise and composure, and being able to compete for 60 minutes. But as any team will tell you, this is a week-by-week -week deal. And tonight, here in Fort Worth, the Horn Frogs came out punching, feeling like they had a lot to prove following that loss against Baylor last weekend. And tonight, they did. And they even said that it was like a modern day college football practice and guys they are fired up for this rivalry you know right now that Shula Bowl trophy it is right over there on FAU sidelines and these Panthers they have not forgotten last year in Boca watching those owls storm the field to go grab that trophy they did not like that very much and they are going to do everything they can to avoid that from happening here on their turf so they're ready to bring that trophy home George
Welcome back to Ocean Bank Field, where we are getting closer to kickoff here at the Shula Bowl. Well, I had a chance to sit down with five of the FIU team leaders this weekend. I have to say, I haven't been around a group of guys that were this fired up and optimistic for the season ahead. And I say that only because just considering the adversity these guys have faced this season, you know, an 0-4 start, losing their head coach. But overall, I was pleasantly surprised by the energy in the room. You know, Coach Cooper came in and essentially said to wipe the slate clean. He told his guys to have amnesia with the first four games this season. And the players saying they had one of their best practice weeks they've had in a really long time. It was high energy, high intensity. Coach Cooper even blaring music over the stadium speakers.